All right, y'all saw that, right? That kind of hurt. I ain't gonna lie to you. That kind of hurt. I kind of hurt my bottom. I hurt my bottom a little bit. <laughs> See that? I caught myself. And now I'm glad we ain't together no more because I have a different experience now with my current boyfriend, right? Well, I got some advice that I want to give to the single people and people in relationships. hello 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 welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm yasheraka and today's topic okay today's topic is going to be why you should love yourself before you love someone else this one you guys this is the one that i was talking about the importance of self-love this is a huge video that i wanted to do and I want to say, like, I learned about this after the fact. After the fact that I already did it. You know, I already have experience loving someone more than I love myself. And I have to say that this, this video, this topic right here is sponsored by God. Because I feel like he has given me the answers to that question on why you should. Because, you know... I'm going to talk about in this video that, you know, how possible it is. It is possible to do that. Um, and I've done that. And so I want to go over my experience on this topic. But I'm also going to be doing like a live demonstration to kind of show you guys the connection between a physical pain experience and an emotional pain experience and where it kind of goes together and ties in at. Um, so you guys are going to see that in this demonstration. I'm going to pretend that I fell and I bust my behind. Y'all, y'all going to see it. I got a good point to it, you guys. I, I really studied this. I really kind of went over this demonstration to, to really prove a point here. So that's definitely what I'm going to do today in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get started on this one because... This is a very important one. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos that I've previously done. Um, on this this video right here, I've talked about the importance of self-love. Because it, it, it goes with a lot of different things, you know. It goes with how you act in relationships, how you act around other people, how you handle your work and stuff like that. How you handle school, like, it's important. Self-love is so important. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, but I want to talk about how it can go into play with a relationship, really, because that's, that's where, that's where people kind of, you know, they kind of get lost or off track with their self-love because they're, at some point, they may be receiving it from somebody else, right? And then, you know, it's like, well, you don't really need it for yourself you're not doing it for yourself because you're receiving it somewhere else but you know the, all the problems start occurring you know and happening after the fact so when you're not receiving it from anybody else so that's that's where the problem can come into play so that's what I want to talk about today how it is within a relationship so I'm going to start with you know there is a saying right that you have to love yourself before you can love someone else. That, you know, some people look at that situation and it's like, it's, it's not necessarily true because of certain people at certain times, you know, they fall into that situation where they are, they are in a place where they don't love themselves more than another person or they love the other person more than themselves you can fall victim to that situation so it's not like you actually must do that it's very possible to do that and so you know when you when you're in that situation it's not that big of a deal you know in the moment because you you are receiving that love but like i said it's after the fact that's going to affect you and that's what i learned 
So when you're in the moment and you're in love, you, you don't notice um, red flags, okay? You, you don't notice things like that. And it's important that you do pay attention to those. Um, some people may notice it and they put it off to the side. But, you know, stuff like that eventually could affect you. And, and you know, you fall victim to that at some point. You know, let's say this other person walks away, right? If this other person walks away, you know, at some point there probably was, you know, a, a red flag at some point that you put to the side because you love this person more and you feel like, you know, nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to change, you know. It's, it's, you know, it's almost like kind of like that puppy dog love where it's, you know, it's nice, it's cute, it's cuddly. And then it just, it kind of turns into those moments. You know how when it's raining and dogs get wet. I love dogs, but I do not like dogs when they are wet, you know. They, it just throws, it, it just, it ain't the same, okay? It's not the same, not the same. Um, but some people do go into that situation and it's hard for them to get out of it if they love that person more so i want to get into the examples because that's that's really where it all kind of plays in at so to kind of play along with this right this this is leading up to the examples that i'm going to be showing and demonstrating so you start relying on that person to catch you okay so whoever your significant other is you're relying on that person to catch you if you're like love is like if it's good <laughs> it's it's like being in clouds you know cloud nine you're floating or you're in this bubble right but what happens when that bubble pops okay that's my question for you guys what happens when that bubble pops and, you know, it's not comfortable. I don't know if y'all ever dreamed about falling, but oh my gosh, I hate that feeling when you are falling in your dream. It's just so uncomfortable, y'all. It's not good at all. It's not good at all. I don't like it at all. So, I don't know if y'all have ever been in that situation, in that dream, but it's not your feeling. You don't want to be falling. But if you are going to fall, you need to be able to catch yourself, okay? And I'm going to give a demonstration of that, right? So, and I also want to ask you, like, what happens when the grass looks greener on the other side to them? So, you know, let's say, you know, y'all are in a relationship or whatever, and this your significant other is interested in somebody else, you know? And they think that the grass is greener on the other side. Sometimes they do go, they do leave, right? And now you're hurt, okay? Now you're hurt. Now hang on to that, right? So I'm about to get into these demonstrations, okay? Now, if you don't love yourself, if you don't have love for yourself, you're going to fall. All right, and this is this is where this is where it ties in that physical pain and that emotional pain. So we're about to I'm about to go over both of them. All right, you guys. So I am getting ready to do a demonstration, and I'm going to show what happens when you don't have that significant other there to catch you, and you don't have yourself. So if you don't have yourself nor your significant other to catch you, this is what's going to happen. All right. So you're on cloud nine, right? Let's say, right, you're on cloud nine and everything's going good. All of a sudden this person leaves, you know, you're, you're not receiving that self-love anymore, right? So this is what happened when they are not there to catch you. It's 
All right, y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that demonstration. So I'm gonna walk you through this. That kind of hurt. I ain't gonna lie to you. That kind of hurt. I kind of hurt my bottom. I hurt my bottom a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, but the point I'm trying to prove to you guys is that you can get hurt badly, right? So if you've been through a breakup, some of you guys may know about this, right? You get hurt. Your emotion, you get emotionally hurt, right? Same thing here. I done fell, I done bust my behind. I'm hurt. All right? That's number one. Number two, you have to build yourself back up or find yourself. All right? My physical example. You know, let's say that I really broke something, right? So let's say, you know, all oh, my arms or something or my legs are broke. Sometimes in situations like that, you have to learn to walk again right you have to learn to use some form of your body again you have to learn how to do things again if, if you break something or you may have to you know if I break my right arm I may have to learn to start writing and doing stuff with my left you know what I'm saying so that's the physical example an emotional example would be you have to like I said, you have to find yourself. You have to know who you are, okay? Because I've been in a relationship where when things went left and we broke it off, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know things about me, you know? I didn't know things that I liked, things that I wanted to do, you know, because I was so involved in this other person. So it's like I have to study myself. I have to know myself. I have to find myself again because I don't, I don't know, right? So it's just like, you know, if I was to fall and break something, I have to learn how to use, use the same broken part or find an alternative for it, right? So that's number two. Number three, your healing process is longer. It's going to take longer to heal if you don't have yourself. If you don't have yourself, if you don't love yourself, it's a longer healing process. Because now, you know, you, you can't really, you're starting from the bottom. You, you are starting <laughs> from zero, from the ground, because you first, you know, you have to, as said in the example, you have to love yourself before you can love someone else. But if you don't set that boundary for yourself and you only have that other person, once that other person is gone, then there's there's no love coming in. If you don't have it for yourself, you know, and it's not coming from anybody else, then it's, you know, it got to be coming from somebody, right? So if it's got to be coming from somebody, it needs to come from yourself because, you know, you're one person that's going to, 100% have yourself be there 24-7. At least that's, that's how it needs to be, you know. That's how it needs to be because that other person is not said to stay. That other person can leave at any moment. So you gotta have yourself, right? So to go over that again, you have, you can get hurt badly, okay? You have to build yourself back up or find yourself, and then your healing process is going to take longer if you don't have anybody there to catch you. All right, now I'm going to do the same demonstration, but I'm going to show a difference in how it's going to go if you have enough love for yourself. All right, so this is what's going to happen. If you have love for yourself. See that? I caught myself. If you have love for yourself, you're going to catch yourself. And let me tell you how that's different. You won't get hurt as badly. You won't get hurt as bad if this other person goes away. Because at least somewhere in your heart, your own love is there. If all your love is coming from somebody else, then yeah, they it's gonna feel like your heart 
got ripped out of your chest. But, y'all, kind of tired, all right? I'm tired. All I did was jump down and I'm tired. But, but if you have yourself and you have some type of love for yourself in your heart, you don't get hurt as badly. Now, you seen the first time I fell all the way down. I could have broke something. Right? When you go all the way down and you hit rock bottom, you could break something. But I was able to catch myself. I wasn't relying on anybody else to catch me, anybody else to love me. Because I had enough love for myself to catch myself. Okay? So I didn't fall all the way down. And I didn't get as hurt. You know, maybe my foot... I don't know, maybe my ankle a little sore or something. But overall, overall, I don't know if y'all can hear these sirens. Y'all probably can. But that fit in with my example. You know, we talking about getting hurt, y'all. Y'all don't want to be getting hurt. Y'all want to be getting hurt. But <laughs> but um, as you can see, like, yeah, you, you're not going to get hurt as bad. It's not going to be as bad if you have yourself rather than you know you fall all the way down also you'll know yourself and your worth so that's number two now number two in the first example is like having to build yourself back up and find yourself but if you already have enough love for yourself then that means you know you kind of know who you are already you know who you are you know you don't really need this person yeah it's gonna hurt yeah you know you're gonna miss the memories and stuff like that but at the end of the day, you already, you know you got memories with yourself. And you know you're more important. So that's that's a difference right there in having yourself versus not having yourself. Number three, your healing process is shorter. Now, you remember I said in the first example, if you don't have nobody there to catch you and you're expecting someone to catch you and they don't catch you and you fall, and you're more, you know, you're more likely to be more hurt and more damaged, right? So your healing process is longer, right? So if I broke something, it's it's long. It takes longer to heal something that's broken versus something that may be, you know, a little bit sprained, right? So I may have sprained my ankle when I jumped off, right? When I fell, but I, you know, at least I caught myself. I didn't just let myself tumble down to where the point where, you know, I could have broken my ankle. But it's not broken. It may be a little bit sprained, but, you know, it's not going to take that long to heal, right? So emotionally, that's that's a physical example. Emotionally, you know, it's not going to take you that long to get over that breakup, right? So like I was saying before, you yeah, you may miss the memories of this person right but you you at some point understand that it was good to you at one point but it's not good for you anymore okay and that's a that's another example i want to talk about because there's some things that are good to you but they're not good for you you know it, it's like junk food junk food tastes good to me you know i could go for burgers but you know it, it ain't really good for me you know health wise right so it, it's the same situation with other things like relationships you know there are certain times where it's like you know yeah it feels good to you in the moment um it feels good to you but it's not good for you and i feel like that's what i found out because i felt like my last relationship you know it was a good situation while it was going on but I feel like God has given me a lot of the answers to why we ain't together no more. And now I'm glad we ain't together no more because I have a different experience now with my current boyfriend, right? I have a different experience with him. And I would say it's a better experience, you know? It's a better experience than I had before. But, you know, at certain times when you're not used to certain things, you kind of settle. But, you know, God, God took me out of that because I didn't have to settle for that. You know, now I got something better. Right? So, that's that's how it is. That's how it goes. Alright, you guys. I'm back. So, before I go, I got some advice that I want to give to 
the single people and the people in relationships. So I'm going to start with single first. All right. So if you are single, right, you want to be focusing on yourself as much as possible because if you went through like the example that I just gave, especially if you love that person more, right? This is the time for you to be focusing on yourself, you know, and finding yourself. You need to be dating yourself. This is the time to do that. This is the time to know who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what you are looking for in the next person. And that's you know the next partner that you choose this is the time to be doing that this is the time to really see right now what i also want to say is it's okay to figure that stuff out as you go because sometimes you go and you enter into different relationships right and you figure out okay yeah i don't really want this or yeah i'm kind of looking for that you know this is something else that i kind of see uh within like real estate since i am a realtor right sometimes you know you may go into a house and you may see this feature and it's like okay you know i wasn't really thinking of that feature but now i want it you know so something like a garage that's something that i kind of want personally I didn't think a garage was that big of a deal, but I don't know. It's something about like backing up in there that I kind of want to do <laughs> that would make me feel like more at home in a way. So, you know, you know, that's an example. So, you know, in a person, it may be, what's a good example? You know, let's just say humor, right? Let's just say, you know, you want someone that's funny you may not think of that as something that you really really want in a person but you know you're going through a relationship with this person and you realize that this person have it or don't have it and it's like yeah I, this is something that i want or don't want within the next relationship right so that's a good thing to kind of go over when you're single when you're single and i would also say not to rush it because when you rush it a lot of the times you you don't know the answer to why things went the way it did and it kind of rubs off in the new relationship because you know it could be something with you it could be something that you've went through in your past that you just keep bringing and bringing and bringing into the next relationship so it's really important to know yourself and learn yourself when you step out into a new journey or a new relationship you want to be building yourself to a point where another person isn't able to destroy you, right? So that's just like the example that I did. Like the first time, in that first example, I was pretty much destroyed. You know, I relied on somebody else to catch me. They didn't catch me. I fell. I may have broken a few parts, you know, of myself in that example, right? But the second time I caught myself, I didn't sprain myself. You know, I sprained myself. I didn't break myself, right? There's a difference. There was a difference. So you want to build yourself to be able to catch yourself and protect yourself. And, and I had like an example housewise is like, I'd rather someone break my window than to burn my entire house down, right? So that that's another example you know if you're if you catch yourself they may can only do enough damage to break the glass you know break the windows but if you let them get to you and tear down your whole house to the point where they just burn your whole house down that's another example where your healing process is going to take longer right because you have to build that entire house it's not going to take as long to replace glass but if you have to build the entire house over you know that's a longer process right you have to find yourself again or you have to kind of figure out how your lot how your last house was you know where was the kitchen where was the bathroom where was all this stuff at right you got to re 
monolith and all that stuff you know and the damages the damages are there because there ain't nothing left ain't nothing left ain't no you know nothing left from you you know so that's an example that i did you know you you would much i'd rather someone break my windows than to burn my entire house down so you want to make sure if you are single that you are building yourself back up now same goes really for relationships if you are in a relationship you need to be making more time for yourself so that you you really know yourself so everything that i said for singles apply to you as well you know you need to be focusing on yourself as much as possible and building yourself to a point where another person isn't able to destroy you okay same goes for a relationship and your partner your partner should understand if they don't understand that you need more time to yourself so you can have yourself and rely on yourself that ain't a good partner that ain't a good partner and you know this is some things that kind of go on in my current relationship you know sometimes my boyfriend you know he goes out and he do what he do you know he go out with his friends or whatever and if he does not I swear y'all he calling me right now and I ain't gonna answer and, and he gonna understand when I tell him what I'm doing he gonna understand I'm telling y'all he is calling me right now at the time of this recording but <laughs> but um what was I saying you know sometimes you know he goes out with his boys he do what he do and you know if he don't call me in a certain amount of time or text me a certain amount of time he likes to apologize and you know i be telling him you know he don't have to do that because it's important that he has a life outside of me that is an important thing i want him to have a life outside of being in a relationship with me that's something that i support you know so and he does the same for me. He know I got stuff to do. <laughs> you know, he know I got stuff to do. And, you know, I, I, when it's said and done, I let him know I had something to do. Same for him. Like, he, you know, I don't need to, I don't ask 50, 11 questions. I, you know, that's, that's just not me. If he go out with his boys, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know where, what time y'all been there. I don't do all of that <laughs> okay what's done in the dark will come to the light you know so if it's cheating eventually it'll come to the light all right so that's how I do it that's how I handle it but self-love is really a it's really about having yourself y'all see this shirt right here it says hashtag selfie it's really about having yourself y'all it's really about self-love it's about self-love and he calling me again <laughs> i'll get to him in a minute but you guys it's so important to have yourself it is so important to have yourself and i'm gonna import a video of some of the products that i sell i have a small business it's called ytb outlet it stands for you're the boss okay ytb stands for you're the boss so it's you're the boss outlet right now i have fashion accessories for women right um we are going to expand and we're going to have more than just uh fashion accessories now um i'm not going to get into exactly what we're going to have but we're going to have a lot of other stuff uh it, we're going to pretty much grow i'm hoping to expand it this year but i'm going to have like a video on here for you guys to see the different products that we have um and if you're into accessories you could definitely check out our website i will have that in the description below it's our uh ytb outlet website and you guys can go on there and see some of the products as of right now if you are watching when this video first comes out we do have a relaunch sale going on um so you can definitely check that out it's a 4.99 sale so everything on the site is 4.99 with free shipping so um if you are one of the early birds um, who are catching this video you will catch that sale and so yeah we have different things we have a uh, different type of jewelry i got sunglasses headwear so like uh hair bands headbands got keychains we got 
purses, wallets, stuff like that. So if you're interested in anything like that, you can definitely check it out on my website. And you guys, I hope this was very helpful and beneficial. I hope you, I hope you guys understand it because I feel like I was kind of off a little bit uh, from where I rehearsed it. But I hope that it was beneficial to you guys and you learned something about like having yourself and loving yourself versus not loving yourself because I had to learn it the hard way. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It took me like a year to get over my last relationship, um, like six months to a year. Six months I started to feel better but I wasn't like completely like okay okay with it until maybe like a year and I don't want you guys going through that and you know like I said it can make your healing process shorter if you have enough love for yourself all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one